Absolutely. Well, we've got you covered on all uh, fronts here. We have mm -hmm. our chief meteorologist Tim Buckley. He's live with us in the weather garden this morning. Uh, Tim, walk us through more of what happened. Yeah, sure. You know, as we went throughout the week, guys, there really was a point where it looked pretty likely uh, that we would get some accumulating snowfall. And so we were saying, yeah, you might be able to get a trace to an inch at one point, and then kind of narrowed it back down to a trace to half an inch. And then, oh boy, we didn't even get that trace here in the triad, did we? And there are always reasons for that, that looking back might give us some more clues looking ahead to the future. You need two ingredients to get snow in North Carolina. It's pretty basic when you think about it. You need cold air and it really has to be here first. That's number one. You also need moisture down there to the south. So cold air locked in is number one moisture to the south. But the tricky part about bringing in that moisture a lot of times here in the Carolinas, our moisture source during the winter time is down in the Gulf. Well, that's a warmer place than us, isn't it? So if you bring that in, a lot of times that moisture can also be a little bit too warm. So those two ingredients are needed. In this case, well, we had a couple things go wrong. The moisture got here too quickly. The cold air is just locking in right now. So if we had delayed the moisture a little bit, I do still think we'd have a decent amount of snowfall around the area. It's just not the case as we are saying not that much snow for today. Look at Virginia. They've been blanketed. Several inches have been happening up that way in Virginia, so it just shifted a little bit north toward the end. And so our neighbors in Virginia get to play and we get to deal with this outside.